There are three things that we should be defined by because of our approach to Scripture. Number one, that we believe that the Bible is true and that the miracles of the Bible are accurate and within that we live a life in expectation of miracles. If we believe that we worship the God of the Bible and the God of the Bible inspired the Bible and the stories of the Bible are in fact true and if the things the Bible promises to those that will follow and live by its precepts and tenets, and when the Bible promises certain spiritual and supernatural effects, that we should live in anticipation of that. Number one, our approach to Scripture means we live in expectation of the supernatural to be a part of our life. Number two, that the Bible is a book that promises salvation through its message and methods. If we truly believe the Bible is true and that it, it affects both the now but it also affects the future, eternity. And because we truly believe that about the Bible, we will strive to study and to know what the Scripture says about how we are to enter in to eternity in the most uh, optimal situation. Uh, the Bible teaches of heaven and a hell. And so we believe there is truly the promise for the righteous. And there is a curse. A, uh, it's not even a curse. It is a judgment for the unbeliever. Righteous unbeliever. Uh, uh, righteous is those that believe and obey the scripture. The unbeliever are those that do not obey. Whether you believe it is really immaterial. Do you obey what the scripture says? And so uh, it is, it is it's the disbelief that the scripture tells us how to enter eternity into heaven that we must place an important amount of effort and focus and diligence to know what the Bible says. Number three, that it is very detailed in not only in about how to enter into heaven, but how to live in this life. It tells us as husbands how we are to conduct ourselves with our wife. It tells us as parents how to deal with our children. It, it tells us as children how to deal with our parents. It tells it deals with us as citizens how to deal with our government and our leaders. It deals with how to uh, handle our money. It deals with how to handle our sexuality. It deals with every part of our being, both physically, emotionally, spiritually, and intellectually. It deals with the whole person uh, within that sexually. It all, it, it, everything about us that makes us men and women, the scripture deals with on a very, very uh, detailed level. And and in that, it tells us how to live. It tells us how to speak. It tells us what kind of fellowship and friendships to have. It even goes down and, uh, and deals with how we conduct ourselves, how we appear in our world. Yes, uh, uh, it, it talks about a man, you know, how long his hair should be. It talk, deals with, with uh, uh, women and that how they should conduct themselves and be modest. And the scripture deals with it all. And so because we, our approach to Scripture means we expect miracles. It means we are living uh, ultimately for eternity. And number three, we're living in the now. And it tells us how to live in the now. Our approach to Scripture affects that.